Good morning, YMCA of Greater Erie. My name is Nancy Joe, and I am here to take you through a lift and flow workout. So basically what's gonna happen today is we're gonna get you warmed up. We will move on to a heap building section. Good morning, Vishna, hi, Lisa. Um, we'll go to a heat building section and then we'll move on to utilizing our free weights. Ideally, if you can, if you have um, a set of heavy weights and a set of light weights, that would be perfect. Hey, Vishna, you're going to recognize today's flow. Wink, wink, the Alaska Club. So keep that in mind. Um, so ideally, heavy and light weights. Um, and then after that, we're going to move on to flow. Good morning, Judy. We're going to move on to flow which is a section from Pio. If you're not familiar with Pio, um, it's kind of like the meat and potatoes of, of the Pio class. Um, it's towards the end of the, of the workout and it's where everything kind of comes together. So that's what we're gonna do, uh, the flow. It's two parts, uh, super easy to follow. And um, again, just a suggestion, if you are new and you're trying to watch me, hey David, good morning. Utilize a chair and use the, the seat of the chair as your floor. You'll be able to see what I'm doing. But honestly, it's a terminology thing. I think once you know the terminology, you're fine. But uh, right now, we're going to get warmed up and then we're going to move on to heat building and we're going to get started. Good morning, Kelly. All right. Um, my rug is a little bit wet from the rain last night. So I'm going to throw a mat down. Um, and I might keep my shoes on the whole class. You can take your shoes off for the flow part if you would like, or you can keep them on. Um, make sure you have water, okay? Uh, and a towel too, just in case. All right, we are gonna get warmed up. So you wanna be about the middle of your mat. All right two circles, two squats, down, up, nice, two circles, two squats, now we're just going to step out to the right, three pulses, toes are externally rotated, step in, go left, good, chest is up and open, we're going to change this to a pile cross. You're going to close, open, close, step together. Close, open, close, step together. Left. Round, release, round, open. Start off easy at first. Then get a little deeper as we go in. All right, two circles. Two squats. Two circles. Big. Two squats. Now right into the pile cross. Close, open, step together, left. Step together, right. Again, you're gonna add on. Right leg, take it back, pulse three. Good, step it in, switch legs. Go right, chest is up. Behind the toes, from the top, two circles, squat, very nice, top cross, left side, lunge back, pulse three, go left, three, two, go right, one more, and we're gonna add on again. Side lunge to the right, down and up. Down, up, next step together. Go left. Uh-oh, I feel raindrops, oh no. I get left, we're gonna change this. You're gonna grab, pull, now overhead. So reach, and take it overhead. Go right. Overhead, one more left, reach, pull, overhead, from the top. Let's put it all together. 
two squats, pile cross. You can start getting a little deeper. Right leg, lunge it back, three. And switch. Side lunge, reach pull. Bring it high. 
hello. Kick away. Regular down dog. Come to plank. Left knee, left elbow. That's tight. Right knee. Speed it up down dog. And plank. Left, right. right. Left leg through and hold it. Bring it up high lunge. Yeah. Slight. Put the shoulders away from the ears. Back up high lunge. T. Step together. Chair. Down. Two. Open the chest. Down. Two. Again. shoulder blades. Press the shoulders down away from the ears. May I have another? Nice work. Alrighty. Warm up and knee building are complete. We are going to move on to our first set. So it goes like this. Side lunge to the left. Okay, again, keeping the chest up. You wanna avoid this, okay? So look towards me, and then you're stepping together and then pressing overhead. Just a reminder, when you press overhead, if you were to look up, you should be able to see the hand with the weight. You don't wanna press straight up where if you were to look up, you don't see that, okay? Remember, you got lots of little nerves in that neck area. We want to be mindful we don't pinch anything, okay? So look, press slightly forward. So we're going to do right side. You're going to have roughly 12 of those. Then we're going to go right into squats, okay? On Monday, I had you squat pulse. We're just going to squat hold, okay? Then we're going to repeat it going to the right with the left arm, okay? And then we're gonna go to the squats. Then we're gonna do it all again, alrighty? So that's your block, set one. So I need the heavier weight, okay? Or whatever you can press. It's not bad to press it up overhead because there's only 12. Here we go, down, up. Press it out. Down. Up. Good. Make sure that left knee stays behind the toe. Good. You got eight more. Down. Up. Press. Down. Up. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Last set of four right here. Push. Now, when we come to those squats, feel free to use the weight, but you don't have to. All right, down up. Nice. Good. Sit back in the heels. Eight more. Eight. Four more, four, three, two, side lunge to the right, press up left, eight, abs are still nice and tight, yes? Alright, squat right here, 12, 
11. So this is where you're gonna get the hold, okay? Keep those abs in tight. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Pull it in tight, pull it in tight. So listen, put that weight back in that right hand. Step left side lunge. And press. Here we go.
couple. I know I'm giving you extra here. Make sure you get your form down. Couple more. Pull. Pull. Pull and release. Good job. We're going to move to the floor. All right. Weight is up. Chest fly. 12. 11. 10. Extend that leg if you'd like. Now open wide, little pulse. Pulse. Little tiny pulse. Nice and wide. You are just a few inches from the floor. Abs are pulled in tight. Couple more, couple more. Couple more. All right, bring the weight up into your chest. Bring it up to the knees. We are gonna hold it, bicep curls where our palms are up. Here we go, 12, 11, 10, nine, give me eight, seven, six, four more. Last one, nice job. Now take the weight up overhead. Long arm, you're just gonna bend at that elbow. Give me 12, 12. So remember, you're not sitting back on the legs. You are lifted. Good. Four more, four. One, good work. Let's bring it up. Hinge it over, narrow, and pull. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 more, 3 more, 2. Now listen up, listen up. Just that right arm. Pull. Pull. Give me eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Three more. Two. We're going to switch it. Left side. Twelve. Eleven. Four more. Pull. Last one. Good. We're going to set the weights down. Come down. Tricep push-ups. Elbows are close to the body. Give me 12. 12. So you can do this on your knees or your toes. Form is what counts. Four more, four, three, two, last one, nice work. All right, hammer curl on your knees for your biceps. Here we go, lift, lift, breathe, keep the abs in tight, lift. Four, three, two, last one, nice job. All right, you're gonna take one leg out, doesn't matter which leg. You're gonna hinge forward, kick back, 12, 11, 10. So head and neck extension of the spine. Don't look down, try to look straight up. Four more, four, three, two, last one, and you're done. Good job. Good work. Two sets, second, 
set is complete. All right, moving on. Third set is all about our shoulders. Continuous movement, okay? So pick a, a weight that you can handle, all right? Because we're not gonna rest at all. It's just gonna move. So we're gonna start with a lateral raise. Down up, 12, eight, seven, six, there's only eight of these, five, four more, three more, two, last one, hold it, hold it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, turn the palms to the front and lift, 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 halfway down. Four more, four, three, two. Now, take it all the way to the top. Just hold it, remember, you should be able to see those weights. Ready, lower and lift halfway. Eight, seven, one arm at a time if you need to. Four, three, two. Stay right here, stay right here. Hold it right here. Now I need you to do me a favor. Relax those shoulders. Breathe. Down halfway. Eight. Seven. Six. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And you're done. Shake out those arms. Woo, baby. Depending on what weight you use, you should have felt that. All right, I need you to grab two of your heavy weights. We are gonna get a kettlebell swing with a pull down. So most of you know this. Kettlebell swing, and then we're gonna pull right arm. Kettlebell swing, and then we're gonna pull left arm, okay? My, I don't have very heavy weights, so I'm going to use both. If you have a really heavy weight, you can just use one, all right? So just so you can kind of gauge. When you squat, the knees are behind the toes, hips are back. Here we go. Down, up, pull. Now the left arm. Remember, look where you're going. Down, up, pull. Up. Hook. Pull. Really drive that elbow down. Slightly behind. Pull. Keep the abs tight. Lift. One more, one more. Nice job. All right. We are going to move on to our last set. So this is going to consist of holding one weight overhead just to the right. You're just going to move small, okay? It's not a big movement, especially if that weight is really heavy, okay? Tiny move and center. We're going to stay to the right. Your second move, I'll have you hold that left hand. Try to separate the legs nice and wide, and you're gonna slowly take that right hand down the leg and up. Keeping that left shoulder back. Think of aligning the shoulders, one on top of each other, okay? So you wanna try to avoid this and be more here. You may have to shorten the range going down, and that's okay. You know what to look for, look towards, okay, as your goal. So then after that, we'll be on our knees with both weights for an upright row. So keep your second weight handy. All right. Take that weight right overhead to the right and center. 
good. Again, you should be able to look up and see that weight. Keep the abs tight. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Weight goes in that left hand. Take those legs nice and wide. Pull that left shoulder back. Slide that right arm down. Down. Two. So remember, to make this more challenging, obviously have your weight, but also look up at that hand that is holding the weight. Make this a little easier. Just don't go down as far. Just go right here and back up. Okay? You do you. Down. Two. Just keep that belly button pulled in. And center it up. Nice job. All right. You're going to come to the knees. Grab both weights. Roll those shoulders down and back. Pull that navel in towards the spine. Let's lift. 12. 11, 10, 9, elbow even with your shoulders, not higher, 4 more please, 4, 3, 2, last one, best one, good job, alright, coming back up, this time we're going to lean to the left, weight is up, abs are in, here we go, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 4 more please, 4, 3, 2, nice job, weight goes in that right hand, take those legs nice and wide, I'll give you time on this one to do that, right shoulder back, 2 counts, let's go down, Remember, more challenging, look up towards that weight. Try to keep that right shoulder pulled back. Down, two. Down, two. This really challenges your stability, yes? Yeah. A lot you have to focus on. And remember, the harder or the heavier the weight, the more challenging it would be. A few more. Down. Two. Down. Two. Just two more. Two more. Down. Two. Last one. And rest. There you go. More on that side. That's okay, though. All right. Upright row. So again, roll those shoulders down and back. Pull those abs in tight. Get ready. Lift and lower, 12, 11, 10, we have eight more, eight, four more please, four, three, two, and release, set those weights down, set back into child pose, walk those fingers out, You can bring it in, take that right arm through, stretching out through those shoulders, because you are not done working those shoulders yet. And bring it in and switch, because we still have bio, yes? And center it up, good. When you're ready, curl the toes and extend it up. So if you want to remove your shoes, now would be the time. Grab a drink. Here's the weirdest thing. There's like, the sun is out, but there's water like dripping. <laughs> I don't 
don't know. Maybe it's from my cheese. I don't know. All right. So your first section of Pio is a warrior one. So that right leg is out. That left foot is on an angle going kind of north and south. And that front foot, it would be like east and west. And what you want to do is try to bring the hips, square the hips to the front as much as possible. If you need to adjust that back foot, please do so. But warrior one, down and up. When I say down, it's halfway and then back up. And it's you can take your time on that move. You're going to come to a warrior three. And this is what I'm asking for in a warrior three. Nice flat back. Your arms are going to be to the side. And you are going to bring them forward and back. Okay? Option, all right, would be forward and back. Lowering and lifting that foot. That tap gives you just enough stability. Okay? So if you're not feeling like your balance is what it should be today, try that. That helps. Your next move is a reverse low lunge, and then we're going to go into a reverse warrior, warrior two. Vishna, look familiar? <laughs> then we're going to go into a triangle, once again, stacking those shoulders. So right here, can you see my shoulders are not stacked? Okay, so this is what you're shooting for. If you've never done Pio, this might be where you're at, and that's okay. Just know that's what you're looking for is to get those shoulder stacked. You can take it all the way to the floor or you could just be right here, okay? From here, we're gonna connect to three-point balance. So when I say connect, you're gonna come down, little tricep or bend in the elbow for a tricep. My right heel is lifted. I'm gonna lower and lift, okay? The lift is on my left leg. The last one, you're gonna stay connected you're going to step back. That right leg is going to come up, and I'm going to pulse. Or you could just hold it, whatever works for you. Then we're going to connect and extend. The last one, we're going to connect, bring you through, and either go back to triangle or that warrior one when we put it all together. All righty. All righty. Okay. So let's set it up. Right knee is over the ankle, which is behind the toes. Try to square the hips best you can. Here we go. And down. Nice and easy. Good. Warrior three. Move the arms. Warrior three. Yeah. Again. One more time. Reverse low lunge. So now you're pulling that right shoulder back. Once again, trying to stack the shoulders. You can add movement with this if you would like. You're going to lower that right hand, come up. Reverse warrior. Warrior two. Reverse. Warrior two, open the chest, reverse. Warrior two, reverse. Warrior two, warrior one. One more time. Warrior three. Reverse low lunge. Reverse warrior, warrior two, reverse, warrior two, warrior one. Warrior three. Option. Reverse low. You could stay here. Reverse warrior. Warrior two. Reverse. Warrior two. We're going to cut it. Warrior one. Warrior three. 
reverse low. Hand down. Reverse warrior. Warrior two. Let's do it again. Warrior one. Warrior three. Reverse low. Hand down. Come up. Reverse warrior. Warrior two. We're going to move on. Triangle. Good. So you're here. Just like we did with that string. Try to pull that left shoulder back. Pin that three point. Extend that left leg. That right heel is lifted until you extend. Now, keep it connected. Step it back. Right leg goes up. Now pulse. Lift. Lift. Now connect to plank. Take it back up. Abs are tight. This is your last full one. Stay connected. Pull it through. Triangle. Yeah. Connect three point. One full one. Stay connected. Step it back. And pulse. Connect once. Connect. Pull it through. Triangle. Nice. Connect three point. One full one. Connect, step it back. Right leg is up. And pulse. Connect to plank. One full one. Connect. Pull it through. We're gonna cut it. Triangle. Just connect. Step back. Now pulse. This is 
Who's opposed? We have not done Warrior One in forever. Again! Warrior Three, your way. Woo! Not that way, though. <laughs> and up. Good. Reverse low lunge. Nice. Pull that left shoulder back. Lengthen through the fingertips. That right leg is nice and long. Left hand comes down, come up. Reverse warrior. Warrior two. Reverse. Warrior two. Reverse. Warrior two. Reverse it. Give me two. Give me one.
Reverse low lunge. Hand down. Reverse warrior. Warrior two. Triangle. You a beast and I'm a beast. Connect all way. Step back. Left leg up. Pulse. You push my appetite. Connect only. Pull it through. Warrior one. How you doing? Warrior three. Reverse low. Hand down. Reverse warrior. Warrior two. Triangle. Connect only. Step back. Lift and pulse. Connect and extend. And lower down. Drop to the knees. Very nice. Sit it back and breathe. Breathe. Good deal. Enjoy that stretch. All right. We have time for a little bit of abs. So, what we're going to do, I'll start you in a lifted position. We're going to chaturanga, up dog, down dog, I'll settle you in plank. That right knee is going to come to that right elbow. Just a friendly reminder, when you lift that right leg, it's not a big lift, okay? Toes are pointed to the floor and it's just a little lift, okay? I don't want a pointed toe and I don't want a big lift. It's really bad on your lower back to do a big lift. So what I want you to focus on, on that lift is the glute, okay? Right knee, elbow, lift, squeeze that right cheek, and lower. Left knee to elbow, lift, squeeze that left cheek. So we'll alternate those. Remember, there's no break in between this because this is an easy one. However, if you're new and you need it, take it and just come back to us when you are ready. So when you are ready, round it up to a standing position. Let's roll those shoulders. You can dance. I know my girl Caroline's dancing with me, yes? Yeah. All right, you ready? Inhale up. Forward fold. Half lift. Step out into plank. Chaturanga, high to low. Up dog. Down dog. We are going to come back into plank. Right knee, right elbow. Now lift. Small little lift. Left knee. Lift. Right knee. Keep those abs tight. Head and neck are an extension of the spine. Don't look at your feet. Slow crouch, down two. Back to down dog. Too quick, down and up. Now slow. Quick. Settle in plank, left knee. Left lift. Right knee. And lift. Feel free to go to the knees. You can drop to the knee and just lift. Yeah. Now crouch, slow. And quick. Slow. And quick. Hold it here, take that right leg up. And sweep it in. Pigeon pose. Walk it all the way down. Good job. Your goal is to try to lower that chest to your mat. Feeling the stretch through that right hip and into the glute. Okay? The top of that left foot should be on the ground. In other words, you don't want your foot out to the side. 
one nice straight line and then just kind of lower as low as you can big deep breaths in through the nose out through the mouth all right we're going to bring the hands towards the knees you're going to curl the right toes under extend that left leg out i'm sorry right leg out take the left leg up and sweep it in and walk that right leg back and then gradually lower down again big deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth i hope your arms are feeling a little something i hope in the pile part they felt a little shaky that would be good that means that you worked them and you worked the muscles to fatigue and that's what we're looking to do is push the muscles to fatigue breathe all right we're going to bring the hands towards the knee curl that right toe under extend that left leg out step or hop in center and then slowly extend the hips Round it up one vertebrae at a time, head and neck last. Roll the shoulders down and back. Good work. Big deep breath in. And exhale. I want you to take that right palm down, left ear to left shoulder. Good. Creating nice space between that right ear and right shoulder. Now, this is your starting position right here. I'd like you to ever so gently just tilt that chin a little bit forward and hold it. Feel that stretch change. And let's bring the head back to the starting position nice and easy. Center it up. Deep breath in. Exhale. Palm goes down. Right ear to the right shoulder. Now you're creating space between the left shoulder and left ear. So once again, this is your starting position. Ever so gently tilt that chin forward. Feel that stretch change. And let's bring the head back to the starting position and center it up. Good, let's roll the shoulders down and back. Good, big deep breath in. And exhale, big deep breath in. And exhale. Nice job today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me and working out with me today. I appreciate it. Next week, I am still going to do a lift and flow. It'll be different, different uh, strength exercises and different uh, a flow. So um, look forward to that. Um, have a great weekend. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you Monday. Have a great weekend.